All right, so this is the Canon HG20, which is basically a hard drive camera. It has a 60 gig hard drive as opposed to the newer flash type drives or solid state. But the, the CMOS sensor in this is pretty, pretty good and it takes great quality images or video, both. What you're looking at now, right now, I have the aperture setting on manual. I had the manual exposure bumped all the way up to 11. And the ring that you're actually seeing, I have three lenses on. You know, they kind of look like this. And each lens does a specific thing. I have a solid neutral density filter number nine, which is my first lens. Then I have a multi-coated UV lens, which is just your standard UV protection. Then I put on a polarizer circulator lens or circular polarizer, whatever. And then I put on a adjusting ND filter lens. So the, the last, the last lens on there, can I, I can adjust the filter and that's what I'm going to do just to demonstrate what it looks like. So right now I'm at full exposure aperture setting 1.8. I have the white bounce set to sun and I have the color setting to vivid. So the display is blinking 11. I'm going to adjust the neutral density filter lens. So that's the first notch. There's nine notches on this, on this lens. Second notch third notch, fourth notch, as you can see it's not really doing much, fifth notch, six, seven, eight, and then you hit nine, nine it starts to make the sky visible, it's a clear sky, it's about nine o'clock in the morning, so the sun is on, I'm facing west. So the sun is on the other side of the house. And that's about nine. The rings you see is because the, the lens is actually about an inch long now off the, off the actual main lens. So I put it to max. So right there is like nothing. It's kind of switching over. That's its max setting. And you can still see it's blown out. All this is blown out here. All this, the whole sky. Now, I'm going to bring down the exposure. That's 10. It stops blinking. That's plus 9. Plus 8. Plus 7. Plus 6. Plus 5. Plus 5 is pretty much what it looks like from my eyes. There's, it's not necessarily blue right here. It's, it's hazy because it's still morning, but the sky, as you can see, it's all blue. So if I bring it down to zero, so that's in the middle of the exposure settings, you can see how dark it is. That's because the ND filters are on. So if I take off this filter and the camera's going to get a little shaky here because I'm going to leave it live. I'm going to take off the multi multivariate ND filter and that's on zero setting as you can see the difference now it's blown out as opposed to looking good and dark and this is kind of this is a filter here it spins I know this is a silhouette because it's backlit but this spins to select You can see what a difference that makes. That's pretty cool, actually. Adjust the manual focus. There we go. So now you can actually see the difference. Again, I have a number nine neutral density filter on the camera and the aperture set to 
so I have it as open as I can get it. I want as much light as possible, but I don't want to destroy the image. So let me adjust the aperture. It's not going to let me unless I... No. As you can see, you can't see... You can't see any of the stuff out there in the distance. But it's there. As I turn it, I'm turning it left. I'm trying to keep it up and down. But yeah, it's it's a good thing to get some neutral density filters. There's a car out there. I'm gonna zoom in. I normally don't zoom in camera while it's recording, but I'm gonna adjust it too, it's gonna be a little shaky. Pretty cool, huh? So, that's that. Circular polarizer, there's nothing. Well, these are actually a four star, four point star lens there, but there's nothing to star off. What else we got? A warming feature. Okay, so now the aperture is adjusting automatically. So it's got 2.4 right now. I'm still set at zero. And here's something to warm up the shot. So in this case, I want to bring down the exposure value to match what it looks like outside. And that's a warm filter there. I'm on negative five aperture. The mic, I don't know if I said it already, is a shotgun Rode video mic. It's 9 volt battery powered, sits on top of my X grip, and it's more sensitive in the front here. So it's going to be kind of muffled for me behind. You can hear the birds and stuff chirping out there. It's a beautiful morning. That's zero. And again, just to demonstrate one more time. That's on automatic focus. I'll set that to manual focus. You can see I'm actually, when I turn it, like a steering wheel, it changes the way the uh, reflects the light in. So I set it to max. That's max. I'll turn it. You can't see nothing. Right there would be good. We still got the blue sky. And it's got the warm filter on there. Pretty cool, huh?